Hey, welcome back and in today's video. Bitcoin, one of the biggest things on the internet. It is the internet. But there's a couple problems that come along with Bitcoin and cryptocurrency in general. The number one being is no one knows where it came from. That seems like a really big deal. I came across this uh, video that really sparked a lot of questions inside me. And I feel like these are a lot of questions that you also might have. So is Bitcoin, was it created by the Illuminati? The ones that control the world? Is there someone pulling the strings? And just what is it about? Satoshi Nakamoto is the creator of Bitcoin. Satoshi Nakamoto. Who was behind this mysterious figure? Are so Sato Satoshi Makinoto. No one knows exactly who it is, but there are theories on who it could be. Let's look on Google and see what kind of stuff comes up. The name is used by the unknown person or people who designed Bitcoin and created its original reference implementation as a part of implementation. They also devised the first blockchain database. In the process, they were the first to solve the double spending problem for digital currency. The NSA identified Satoshi Nakamoto. What, can we just point out how cool of a name this guy's got? The creator of Bitcoin, Satoshi Nakamoto, is the world's most elusive billionaire, worth more than $7 billion uh, as of November 2017. That's that's pretty crazy very few people outside of the department of homeland security know satoshi's real name in fact dhs will not publicly confirm that even they know the billionaire's identity now there have been a lot of uh suggestions and a lot of people think that satoshi is is none other than elon musk who is elon musk you might ask Elon Reeve Musk is a South African born American business uh, magnet. Mag I said that wrong. Investor, engineer, inventor. And you know, uh, Elon Musk is huge, huge on a lot of things. Uh, he could be, he's got the genius to do this. But let's continue down this video path. These cryptography experts from NSA? Or is Satoshi Chinese and wants to get rid of the dollar? One thing is clear. What we see right now is a well-orchestrated campaign of manipulating Bitcoin's rate. Stocks, mining pools, crypto whales, media, they are just puppets in the master's hands. I really, I really thought it was interesting how they showed the Freemason symbol, symbolism on the back of Satoshi's uh, shirt here. Uh, the Freemasons uh, go back a long way. And it goes into uh, the Illuminati and uh, things like that. Freemasonry or masonry consists of fraternal organizations that trace their origins to the local fraternities of stonemasons from which the end of the 14th century regulated qualifications. And there, there's, there's a lot uh, that you don't know about uh, what Freemasons are. Not things you didn't know about Freemasonry. When meeting, Masons do not discuss religion or politics. Freemasonry is not a religion. The, cla the Catholic Church condemns Freemasonry. Atheists are not welcome. Interesting that atheists are not welcome, but they don't discuss religion or politics. This is weird. Two of America's earliest presidents, George Washington and James Monroe, were Freemasons, as were Benjamin Franklin, John Hancock, and Paul Revere, but many leading figures in the American Revolution, including John and Samuel Adams, Th Thomas Jefferson, James Madison, and Thomas Paine, were not Masons. Hmm. There are no secret Masonic symbols on the U.S. dollar bill. There are no secret Masonic... There's... But... The Shriners, formerly known as the Ancient Arabic Order, Nobles, and Mystic Shrine, the charity organization best known for its popular mind of driving tiny cars and parades, and also standing on the side of the road uh, with funny-looking hats to get your money. It's very interesting. I'll put this article in the description below so you can check it out. How does he manage to coordinate such multiplayer work secretly on a global scale every channel can be hacked if you want to hide something put it in plain view absolutely this is a an illuminati secret 
the Rothschilds probably know this all too well. If you want to hide something, put it in plain sight. Now we've talked about a lot of Illuminati symbols hidden in plain sight, and here is a couple. The Monarch Butterfly. Now the Monarch Butterfly uh, spun out of the MK Ultra, and it programmed people. It was pretty cool. The Monarch Butterfly is used by those within the entertainment industry to symbolize the trauma-based mind control techniques being carried out predominantly on the female celebrity performing puppets we see relentlessly paraded in front of idolizing masses and they do this because when they have these idols in front of uh, children they can begin to uh, manipulate them from an early age which also brings up the taco bell commercials and referencing to the taco bell illuminati commercials serpents reptiles and dragons are huge symbolisms uh, for the illuminati and they mean so many different things their largely feared creatures have long used to symbolize cold-blooded and callous ruling elite from ancient times. Ancient myths like George and the Dragon to more modern per portrays encompassing corporate identities and Hollywood blockbusters. Lizard-like beasts play a significant role in the Illuminati imagery. And, and it makes sense because we have lizards walking among us, I guess. Uh, you can see it in their eyes, or maybe not at all. Another somewhat sinister animal the Illuminati have adopted to symbolize their serendipitous ways, representative of wisdom and secrecy. So it's basically just secrecy, but you can see these different symbolisms uh, everywhere, and it, they really like it. Watch it in celebrities. Well, there's a lot of different things, and it's a very interesting article. We'll also put it in the description for your reading pleasure. Porn sites became such a place where through Pornhub and YouPorn, messages worth billions of dollars are delivered. In September 2017, the main page of YouPorn was full of videos from Asia. I remember, uh... November, Pornhub's top five most rated videos were about sex for money. The result was Bitcoin cash pump. At the end of November, a video clip with green dildo was top... Bitcoin, the green dildo. It's the green dildo. <laughs> it's, uh, I always knew it was. Top rated. Bitcoin skyrockets to $10,000. They're kind of scary, but a lot of us are investing in cryptocurrencies more and more. The blockchain technology. Even if, if Bitcoin was to go away and fall, then the blockchain technology would always stay. That's why I, I myself as an investor in cryptocurrencies uh, am looking for different people utilizing the blockchain in ways that benefit the future. But one of my friends gave me this article the other day and it, it's about Ripple. And Ripple is kind of making a ripple. Do you know what people are buying Ripple with? USD? No. ETH and BTC. Do you know who holds the most of the Ripple in this world? Who's selling it? Banks. What we are witnessing is the reversing of the massive wealth transfer. The banks know that they can't kill ETH and BTC. Now they need to get as much of it as possible. They don't want to pay full price. Their plan? Develop XRP. Hold most of it artificially manipulate the price by bidding it up two to three dollars when we're gonna ha have to edit that word out they are trading precious limited decentralized ethereum and btc for a blank coin they can be printed on a whim in the end banks will win they will end up holding most of the ethereum and btc you will end up holding most of the xrp the rich always get richer even if you start with more money than them, they'll end up with more money than you. Now, this to me seems like a paranoid concept. And I think in investing is you don't invest any type of money that's going to dramatically, you know, make you go broke or anything like that. And I'm all about going for the thing, but that seems a little bit too high stressed for me. One thing's for sure. There's a lot going on here and cryptocurrency is taking over the world. As interesting as this is, there's always something that's more interesting to me. That's right, you guessed it. I wanna know what you think. So why don't you go ahead and leave your creative and or interesting responses in the comment box below. Thumbs up for those likes. And as always, brothers and sisters, I will see you in the next video. Are you a member of the Rip Squad? Are you a member of the Greg Fur Meowsons? The Greg Fur Meowsons. Greg, all right. 
I know that you're repping and gregging. Well, you're gregging and repping. And if you guys are new here and you don't know, this is Greg the Cat. He developed the Greg Fermiusens, and he is coming out. Uh, he has his own YouTube channel. Um, he's got nothing on there yet. But he's going to be coming out with a whole bunch of videos this year. It's going to be great. And you, as part of the Greg Fermiusens, uh, will be first dibs on that. Uh, if you want to be a part of the rep squad, um, I'm going to start doing shout outs again. So if you want to shout out, I'm not going to put any limitations on that. Let me know in Twitter, Instagram, or even in the comments below, but you got to be some of the first it down there, or I'm not going to be able to get to it, unfortunately. So it's best to turn on your notifications and become a member of the rep squad. How do you do that? Make sure you're subscribed. Go subscribe to the channel. I recommend that you subscribe. It, it will save you. Okay. And then turn on the notifications. And then you got to go to the comment section after every single video. Because I'm going to be there. Greg is the cat. Is going to be there. And the entire rep squad is going to be there. So I'll see you there.